Another important characteristic of a polymer is viscosity. As we know, the presence of particles in the solvent creates the drag frictional forces which constitute the origin of the viscosity. The total solution of the viscosity is related by this equation to uh, the polymer concentration. Uh, hence, we can have intrinsic viscosity of the polymer and the relationship between intrinsic viscosity and reduced saturation for ideal cone. To measure viscosity, we use a very simple principle and we use Poisson law for viscous flow. Um, a single capillary viscometer is used, uh, which measures pressure drop across the capillary of radius R and length L uh, with fluid uh, flowing at a specific rate. Shown here, uh, are data from an automated zinc experiment where the polymer concentration was round. So you can see here viscosity uh, increases from the solvent level to the maximum concentration. Below its uh, RI, which increases as the polymer concentration increases, and less scattering, which increases as more polymer is uh, introduced. Uh, on the right, uh, is shown reduced viscosity versus concentration. The extrapolation of zero concentration gives intrinsic viscosity. Intrinsic viscosity can be related to uh, the polymer mass by a mark hoeing relationship. Uh, the graph on the right shows information about uh, the structure of the uh, and for that study uh, based on the mark ring relationship. Shown next are um, uh, row SEC chromatograms. Uh, each de detector responds to a different polymer characteristics such as light scattering, proportional concentration and mass, refractive index detector proportional with concentration and viscometer proportional with concentration and uh, visc intrinsic viscosity. Uh, next is shown the analysis for a polyacrylamide sample. Uh, what is shown here is mass distribution. You can see broad distribution over a, a high, over a big range in mass. Also what is shown is reduce, is radius of gyration and uh, intrinsic viscosity with the associated uh, mark ring coefficients, as you can see, typical values for random core polymers. From, this, from the SEC viscosity measurements, we can have, by fitting with power law, uh, intrinsic viscosity versus mass curves, we can get a mark ring coefficients. An important issue uh, in the polymer uh, solutions is branching. Um, as we know, Zina Stockmeyer provides a branching parameter. However, this um, requires a model in order to be interpreted. And I show here an example for uh, star molecules with and branches and for random branch polymers of N branches of functionality F. Uh, a related branching parameter is GPRAM, which is obtained from intrinsic viscosity. And I show in the graph on the right, contrasting, contrasting elution behavior between a branch polymer and its linear analog. As you can see, it's very nice and uh, easy to uh, obtain the uh, difference between the linear and branch. A very important field and uh, topic in uh, this discussion is uh, charge, uh, charge polymers. Uh, polyelectrolytes uh, are um, obtained by free radical or by living types of polymerization. And uh, what is important is that the dimensions uh, and the electrostatic repulsion diminishes with added salt. As 
this cause of the decreases and mass scattering decreases as the ionic strength is increased. Uh, an example of this behavior is shown here for sodium hyaluronate, uh, where uh, sodium chloride was ramped at fixed polymer concentration. So uh, we can see light scattering and viscosity for this polymer as functions of sodium chloride. And uh, it, the trend is that the more sodium chloride is added to the solution, light scattering is increasing uh, as the ionic strength shields the charges on the polymer chain and viscosity drops as the shielding leads to a contraction in the coil size. The shrinking of the polymer size is illustrated in the inset to the figure, which shows radius of gyration versus sodium chloride concentration. Concentration regimes in polymer solution go from dilute to semi-dilute and to highly concentrated solutions. Uh, a way to exemplify this was uh, um, by showing different signatures from polymerization reactions done in different conditions with fits to theoretical forms. So basically what is here is um, intensity of the light scattered. So uh, the excess of scattering for the polymer solution versus time for different reactions done in dilute regime, semi-dilute regime, and high concentrated regime. Uh, this um, monitoring allowed us to uh, compute different uh, parameters and features of the uh, reactions and also uh, go a little in the reaction kinetics. Mm -hmm.